We are taking off on a road trip this weekend. It's back on the road, this time in the trails west. We've got her loaded up and we're going somewhere so remote that we're actually bringing our own fuel. It's gonna be super cool to check off yet another location we have never ridden before off of our list of new places to go. But first, we're gonna be stopping in West Yellowstone to say what up to the fly peeps. Uh, they got a ride going on tomorrow. We're stoked to be involved with that. So we've got a beautiful night to head up the hill to West Yellowstone, and we'll check in with the fly crew and be on the snow in the morning. We're heading out today with a pretty epic crew that's popped up on this little fly ride here. We're pretty stoked to get out with all these guys in one place. It's the first time we've done this in a while. It's great to see all of these boys kind of towards the end of the season. We got Willie Elam here, who you might have seen in our Fairfield episode, as well as Todd Tupper. We got Stephen Clark shooting all of this, which is great to see Stephen. We've shot a lot of stuff with him over the years, and he is obviously a very legendary photographer and videographer. And it's great to get out with Todd too. We started riding with Todd when we first came out here to Idaho. He has been really involved with Articat engineering over the years and suspension engineering. He knows the inside of a snowmobile shock a lot better than most. Really awesome crew that we're getting out with. And like you said, Dylan, the best weather we could ask for. So let's get after it. Seeing like 65 miles an hour of track speed. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> How many miles this thing got? 122. I've put about one of those miles on, maybe not even. It's definitely a noticeably different ride than my NA 146. As far as if I would get one or not, I don't know, I'm on the fence. It seems like it would be cool because if it was a blower day and you had to ride the 146, you could definitely get around better than on an NA on this thing. But but at the same time, having a 146 NA is kind of like the point, I feel like, of a 146. I don't know, at least that's how I like it. And that thing feels super light and fun to ride and it's super cool in its own way too. So I don't think you're gonna go wrong, but yeah, I guess I'm I'm completely undecided. I don't know, I'll leave it at that. You guys can decide. Uh, if you've ridden a 146 Turbo, ridden a 146 NA, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you prefer. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's probably not the most practical snowmobile by any means. Um, on a deep day, you're gonna be struggling, but man, it is fun to just pull these power wheelies and it does some crazy bow tie stuff, but. Yeah, I think it kind of defeats the point of an NA. Like that's why I like the 9R 146 so much is because it is so responsive. That thing feels like the snowmobile equivalent of a trials bike almost. Like you can stop on a dime, you can start in a different direction on a dime versus the 146 turbo, it feels like a turbo, it feels heavier. Not exactly sure what we're gonna order for next season. We're still contemplating pricing some things out. So we'll reveal that in the coming weeks, but this, all the sleds have been great to us this season. We haven't had any lemons like we have in years past. So, uh, so far so good this season. <laughs> Yeah, 
You see where it's soft and then just got rock solid? Oh yeah. Right when I tried to do it? Yep. Oh, I smoked my calf. Brutal. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, it's gotta do it. Steps up to the top. What would you rate that shot out of 10? Seven. It's always cool being a part of these fly rides. They hooked us up with brand new kits for today. I think we get to take them home. I'm in love with the red. I've never had red gear before. And it pops. Uh, this Montana trip's gonna be pretty cool. We're going to a totally new destination, but we've said where we're going. Everybody kind of cocks their head because they just don't know. Um, so we're actually gonna drive north here out of west and then head east and drop down. We're gonna be kind of near Cook City, but that's not exactly where we're riding. So we're super stoked to reveal this destination and show you what it's all about. We're meeting up with our friend Mason Miller, who we rode with kind of just over there in Island Park last year around this time and he's got a pretty cool resort that's totally off the grid that we're gonna go check out. But right now there isn't a cloud in the sky and this has been a really fun, chill day of riding with some of our homies getting to talk about hill climbs ahead of Jackson, getting to catch up with some of the guys we haven't seen in years. So, so this has been a great way to kick off the trip and I think we're gonna get some more photos and then head back down to the road and better north. Good morning from Top of the World Resort. It is absolutely beautiful out here today and we are geared up and ready to go rip. We are so stoked. We got in late last night um, and had about a 15 minute trail ride up into here. Finally made it in. This place is extremely remote, totally off the grid. And uh, like we said, we've never been here before. So we're excited. Mason's gonna be showing us around. He said the riding here is like pretty much unmatched to anything else that we've experienced at least it sounds like. So we're excited. Uh, to check this place out for sure. Woke up to cloudy skies, but they quickly cleared out and now we're finally getting an idea of what the terrain's like around here. And I can tell you what, there's huge mountains surrounding us. So, stoked to get over these ridges and see more of this. Um, I'm on the 146 Freeride Turbo. Today we brought the turbos up because the NAs wouldn't do too well at this elevation. We're gonna be riding up to like 11,000 feet. Um, one thing we're trying out on the sleds is these link boxes. Um, we saw the modern cowboy Eric Tucker rocking one of these. And it's actually a Can-Am accessory it looks like, um, but they're a waterproof box. We're gonna see what it's all about. We've been looking for like a good low pro waterproof durable storage option um, for the tunnel for a while. So we'll see if these hold up. We're gonna have some fun. Uh... Probably head back towards Sawtooth Mountain today, ride some really cool trees and hopefully find some untouched snow and show you guys some of what we got up here. So should be sick and hopefully we don't break, but not counting on it. <laughs>
That was sketchy. These are like some sealy type rocks in the middle of the trees. Huh. I'm glad I didn't end up tumbling off that though. It is so cool getting to check another new area off the list this season in our travels. This trip has just delivered some amazing views and great company. It's so fun being up here with the Millers and their friends at Top of the World. We've had the chance to ride all over the season and ride all kinds of different sleds. And one thing that sticks out to me as I'm hopping on these guys' sleds and hopping on other sleds this season, like when we were out east and I was on someone else's sled that entire trip, is the finger throttle. I've been running the Munster finger throttle for a few years now, and I did not notice it more than this season, spending more time on a thumb throttle, how much I appreciate the extra control that I have with this finger throttle here. And it's also really helped my thumb out. My thumb was getting beat up from hard landings with a thumb throttle, and having a better grip with my thumb across the bar has really helped the pain in my hand over the last couple of years. So pretty stoked to be running Monsters on all the sleds in the fleet this year. And thank you, Monster, for supporting us. Now let's get back to ripping with the boys. <laughs> Fellas, what can we expect on today's ride? Open views, big jumps, lots of cool poles. Uh, today's gonna be awesome. This place is super cool, uh, top of the world. Thank you guys for having us up, by the way. This is absolutely great. It kind of feels a little bit like Northern Wisconsin and Ben's camp, very historic in that way. What, what's kind of the story behind this? 
So this this cabin was put on Bear Tooth Lake. It was built in 1934 and was a little little uh, store they had on the lake. And then in 1964, they moved it right here to its current location. We're the third owners of Top of the World. So the first two owners, you know, they would add on a little bit here, add on a little more every year. So that's kind of what we're hoping the Forest Service will let us add on a little bit so we can, you know, put a few more heads in the beds. And But yeah, this place has been around since 1934. It's a pretty cool place and you know we're pretty lucky to have it so we are 100 percent off the grid up here we make our own power pack everything up here before the road closes all the fuel everything we need for the winter it's quite a quite a, a deal to get it you know get it all set and ready to go because you cannot get supplies up here you cannot get you know as far as fuel or anything goes you just can't get it all up here so it's a lot of planning yeah well i'm really stoked to go see some of these views we couldn't get over the views on the drive-in and the way up here and man we've got just the perfect weather for it so we're all gassed up let's get after it fellas let's ride right. You good? I did not see that there. It's been a real treat to be able to get shown around the way that we have around this country and it could definitely be very confusing. Actually the first thing that Mason told us when we rolled into town is whip out our phones and download the Onyx maps to the area and it's for good reason. There are all sorts of crazy little ravines, rock features, hills, waterfalls, lakes, anything that you can name. And uh, it's been super cool to track our ride through the trip that we've been on here. We have really put on some miles and covered some country. 
Uh, it's been important to be able to check out some of the stuff that we're going into. It's no secret that this year has been pretty low snow wise for just about everywhere in the US. So it looks a little bit different than it has in years past and we've been using a lot of the tools like the slope angle, slope aspect, and of course having all of these maps downloaded has been a huge tool on this trip. We will leave a folder in the description with the contents of where we've been riding this trip, the location of Top of the World Resort. Thank you again, Onyx, so much for supporting us and what we do and allowing us to access the backcountry like we never have before. We are back at Top of the World after another day of riding. We just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what this place is all about. We got geared down in the lodge, which is right behind us. Inside there is a wood burning fireplace where we have all of our gear hanging to dry. Uh, it's a super cool setup riding right in and out of here. Obviously, there's no trail that we necessarily need to ride from here. We can just get right up into the mountains. In the front of the lodge here, they've got a convenience store. And while there isn't much going on in the winter right now, I think they've got plans to get this opened up in the winter. And in the summertime, I guess it's just crazy around here. I really want to come up here in the summer and check it out. We've been staying in the motel next door. It's got basic amenities. There's four units and all you need to have a camp to go explore this awesome terrain right here at 9,500 feet. But all good things must come to an end and this trip has sure been awesome. Just want to give a huge thanks again to the Miller family for taking such good care of us here at Top of the World in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna go inside and enjoy some Miller Family Ranch beef that Natalie has prepared, and then it's time for us to head her home. We're heading to the Jackson Hole World Championship Hill Climbs next weekend. A ton of our friends race this event, and there's a lot of people coming to town to ride. So there's gonna be lots of good riding, lots of good racing, and we'll see you guys there in next week's video. Thanks for watching.